Hello, my friends, and welcome to a special Thanksgiving edition episode of Teacher Needs a Drink podcast. I am your host, Elvis, and just to let you know, this is a not-safe-for-work podcast. We will be using pseudonyms to protect ourselves from, you know, angry, pissed-off parents or nasty co-workers or anyone who just doesn't like what we say. Anyway, I'm going to skip most of the usual stuff and just get right to our happy Thanksgiving message. We'll be back with great new stuff next week on our first real week after this Thanksgiving break. And if you really need more, there's lots of content on the Patreon. There's even a special episode coming out this week on the Patreon. So go do that. If not, enjoy and happy Thanksgiving. Hey, this is Elvis. Uh, This Thanksgiving week, I'm coming off of a really crazy, long, like hellish week beforehand that was insanely intense. So I spent my first day of Thanksgiving break like asleep. Like literally I woke up, I did like 30 minutes of work and then I laid in bed and slept all day long. We went and saw the new Ghostbusters movie, Priscilla and I, and I loved it. And then I went and slept all night long. It was beautiful. Now today I'm getting shit done making podcasts. I hope all of you out there have a nice Thanksgiving. I hope you can get rest or get family, do whatever you need to, to fill your bucket, whether it's being social or being alone, take some time to clean up, do whatever you need to, but man, take care of yourself so you can get a little bit of a recharge before these next three weeks. Yeah. Anyway, and then I'm going to circle something else. If you have family or loved ones out there, make sure you let them know they're loved. All right, friends. Oh, and uh, my answer to the would you rather, would you rather have a condom fall out of your pocket immediately after anyone compliments you or amputate a friend's leg without painkillers? Um, I would 100% have a condom fall out of my pocket immediately after anyone compliments me. I imagine after like the third or fourth time that happens, I have a pretty good answer. Or I could just be that guy who's really, really pro-safe sex. So, you know, there it is. Anyway, happy Thanksgiving, y'all. Hi, this is Bunny O'Hare, and I am spending my Thanksgiving um, spending time with my family, with our sweet little uh, Bunny Fufu, our little newborn, and with my um, mom and sister, and with Mr. O'Hare's parents, and we are just staying close to town and relaxing and just going to hang out and have a pretty relaxed Thanksgiving. We will not be doing Black Friday, but uh, I will see you on Cyber Monday. (laughs) Um, And I hope that everybody listening has exactly the relaxing, refreshing break that we probably all so desperately need right now. Take care of yourselves, put your oxygen mask on, and embrace the, the gratitude and the love that we feel for you. Perfect. Are you ready? Here we go. Sure. Would you rather amputate a friend's leg without painkillers or have a condom fall out of your pocket immediately after anyone compliments you for the rest of your life? Condom. (laughs) Yeah, it's a lot easier to explain. Yeah, well, there's that, but also it's like a, it didn't say used. So like, I don't know, give them away for free. It's a public service. You know, you are the first person. I think I've only got one more host left to talk to. You are the first person to bring up whether it's a used condom or not, (laughs) because that really does change the game. That would make a big difference. Yeah. So I'm going to assume since it didn't specify that we were talking unused and in the wrapper and, uh, I'll just start a collection and, uh, we'll, we'll, Call it a public service there. Yeah, give them away at colleges and parties. Also, I know that my my two best friends would murder me in my sleep if I, you know, attempted an amputation without anesthesia. So. <laughs> well, good to know. Hey, y'all, this is Lucille Lane. And this Thanksgiving, I will be visiting family, friends, most importantly, my 96-year-old grandmother, who I'm so excited to see. I recommend all teachers, all loved ones, just enjoy one another, eat till you're too full, sleep past noon, and enjoy your time off. That's perfect. All right. Are you ready for two questions, would you rather? Sure. All right. So would you rather amputate a friend's leg without painkillers or... Have a condom fall out of your pocket immediately after anyone compliments you for the rest of your life. 
Um, condoms for sure. <laughs> yeah. I, I feel like I can deal with that a little bit better. And I think, I really do think that that would just, people would expect it after a while. Not that I get a ton of compliments, but like if you've seen it once, you'd be like, oh, it's happening again. Like what's going on? Oh, it's just something that happens now. <laughs> you, you'd be the safe sex woman. There's nothing wrong yeah, with that. There's nothing wrong with that. Greetings from the chocolate one, Count Chocolate. And I wanted to say a happy Thanksgiving to all the listeners out there. Um, I'll let you a little bit know. I'll let you I'll let you know a little bit about how uh, my Thanksgiving break's going to go. I'm going to travel and see some family. Um, I did, and I'll see some more. And then I've got some yard work that's due. I've got some school work that I'm going to do. Like being able to do a little bit of school work outside of the office is kind of leisure for me because I feel like I can catch up. Um, presently it's like 65 degrees and there's not a cloud in the sky. So I am outside. I need the fresh air. I need it for my mental health. Um, I'll probably go on a couple, couple mile walks sometime during this break to help take care of my own mental health. I suggest you guys do the same. If you're on speaking terms with your family, hug them close during this break, uh, make the drive, tell them you love them. Um, eat some food. Calories don't count for Thanksgiving. Everyone knows that. Um, root for your favorite team if they're playing on Thursday and and enjoy life like this is it's beautiful and I don't want to miss out on a week to just be free for a little bit we work hard so play hard and have a good break awesome are you ready for your would you rather oh I'm 100% well actually I'm never ready for these but you know what I'm always up for it (laughs) well you're the first one so I just grabbed these randomly out of my pile and so what I'm going to do is I'll have everyone's little message at the end. I'll read this and I'm just going to put your answers and just like cut them together. So there's oh, not like perfect. long conversations on these. Okay. Are you ready? Yeah. Would you rather amputate a friend's leg without painkillers or have a condom fall out of your pocket immediately after anyone compliments you? <laughs> oh, 100% have that condom fall out of a pocket. Uh, I, I love close ones way too much. To, amputate with no anesthesia? Oh, heck, nah, man. Look, drop a drop a whole pack of magnums out. I'm fine with that. Like, <laughs> let the world know. Like, here, here's what I'm talking. Here's what I'm thinking about today. I am not amputating anyone's anything. No, I can't. Yeah. So, drop. I'm dropping condoms left and right. Hi, everyone. This is Wayne Kerr. And for this Thanksgiving, I'm going to be spending it with my family, enjoying some time to ourselves. And for all the other teachers out there or people who listen to our podcast, take the time off, enjoy it with your family, because this is the time to be thankful for them. Perfect. All right. Are you ready for your would you rather? Sure. Where the fuck did I just put those cards? I think Mm. I set them in the kitchen. Ah. Ah, Here they are. All right. Would you rather amputate a friend's leg without painkillers or have a condom fall out of your pocket immediately after anyone compliments you? (laughs) So every time I receive a compliment, a condom pops out of my... uh, Okay. (laughs) Like, even if it's like a three-year-old saying they like your beard. I mean... (laughs) Oh, goodness. Between popping condoms and um, amputating a friend's leg. Who's a friend? No. Um, Yeah, I'm going to go with the condom thing because that would just be a hilarious conversation starter or keeper. Hey, y'all. It's me, Miss Sparkles. I just wanted to say happy Thanksgiving wherever you are. I hope you are enjoying lots of fun and food. Um, I will be having a Whole Foods Thanksgiving with my mom, a.k.a. my mom doesn't cook, so she bought everything from Whole Foods. (laughs) So... (laughs) Hopefully your delicious your food is as whole and delicious as mine is going to be. <laughs> oh, bless her. She's crazy. <laughs> All right. Are you ready? I am ready for my would you rather. Would you rather amputate a friend's leg without painkillers or have a condom fall out of your pocket immediately after anyone compliments you? I'm going to go with the condom. <laughs> like this. Going with the condom because 
I don't think I could bear the screams of my friend as I <laughs> amputated one of their limbs, but like I'll deal with the embarrassment of a condom coming out of my pocket. Like, look, at least I'm having safe sex, okay? Word. At least, at least I'm being safe. <laughs> Hi, everybody. This is Shirley Temper, and this Thanksgiving, I will be drinking my weight in Pinot Grigio. So should you. All right. <laughs> what, what else? Would you rather amputate a friend's leg with no painkillers or have a condom fall out of your pocket immediately after anyone compliments you for the rest of your life? Um, I wouldn't be embarrassed if a condom fell out of my pocket because I'm a baller like that. So, and safe sex is sexy. Boom. And also, I ain't getting pregnant, so fuck off. Hey, everyone. It's Rosie Rosé. I hope you have a great break. If you don't have a week-long break, I'm sorry. Your district sucks. If you do, proud of you. I will be sleeping and eating food. And that's it. The end. All right. Would you rather cut off your best friend's leg without any painkillers for you or them or have a condom fall out of your pocket every time someone compliments you for the rest of your life? Um, am I cutting off their leg because it's gangrenous? I don't know. Could be for that. Could be for funsies. Okay, well, I'm never going to cut off my bestie's leg for funsies. Unless I was like really, really drunk, maybe. Yeah. So uh, I'm gonna go with confetti pocket <laughs> because whenever someone compliments me, I can just pick it up and be like, "You ready? Yeah, yeah." <laughs> <laughs>